Here we are going to solve for this two specific unknowns using the concept of the linear transformation in these two given already given uh, representations. So here, what we could do now is to look for the possibility of making these two vectors be a linear combination of the other two given. With that, we can identify the correct uh, coefficients that could be paired with each of them that will make or satisfy a linear combination. And with that, we're going to move uh, to the linear combination concepts later, a little bit later. So again, we are going to solve now. Let's start with the solving of 2 and 4. Okay, we don't have a definition here of the linear transformation, only the given uh, values here. Okay, but to do that, again, we're going to express 2 and 4 as a linear combination of 1, negative 1, and 0, and 2 by using a certain uh, constant here for 1, negative 1, and 0, 2, where A and B are elements of the real numbers. Okay, we're going to use that as we move further later. Let's just simply solve this first. You have 2 and 4. You have here a, negative a, plus 0, 2, b. Okay, so you have 2, 4, this is a, you have negative a plus 2, b. Hence, by equality of vectors, a is 2, and then negative a plus 2b is 4. So with this value, we could have here negative 2 plus 2b equals 4. So we have 2b equals 6, b is 3. Now these are the two values for um, this to be a linear combination. And we are also going to use that as we are going to solve for the linear transformation of 2 and 4. So let's start here, 2 and 4. As again, uh, let's start first with or rewriting here the linear combination. This is again, a is 2, right? Times 1, negative 1, plus b is 3, 0, and 2. You might want to check if you're not con uh, convinced with your answer. 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 0 is 0, so that's 2. 2 times negative 1 is actually neg uh, negative 2. 3 times 2 is 6, so that's why you have your 4, and that's correct. What we could do here is to place here the symbol for linear combination, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. 2, 1, negative 1, plus 3, 0, and 2. And by the concept of linear uh, transformation, we are going to uh, separate the transformation of the sum for the sum of the transformation. 2 and 4. So we have here 2, I mean t2, 1, negative 1, plus transformation of 3, 0, 2. And as the second condition for linear transformation, the constants here can be moved outside. 2, 4, you have 2, t1, negative 1, plus 3, t, you have 0 and 2. We, we are doing this because we already have the, the representative vector, vector for this as well as this here as given earlier. That would mean you have your t to 4 is equal to 2 times the linear transformation of 1, negative 1, which is 2, negative 3, plus 3. You have here the linear combination transformation rather of 0, 2 is 0 and 8. So with this, we'll have t 2 of 4 is equal to, you will have a 4, um, negative 6, plus 0, and 24. Let's, let me move it here. That would mean that the linear transformation of 2 and 4 using this given here is equal to 4 and 18. We did this again by understanding the concept of uh, the conditions of the linear transformation, the transformation of the sum is equal to the sum of the transformation. And we have here the transformation of a constant. We can move the constant outside. Okay. Let's duplicate the same process for 1 and 1 here. So let me use some spaces here. We are going to solve 1 and 1. So first, let's come up with a uh, certain values of A and B that will make this a linear combination, A of you'll have 1 negative 1 0 and 2 1 negative 1 plus b 0 
and 2. Okay, so let's solve this first. Uh, sorry, 1, 1, you will have here a, negative a, plus 0, 2b. 1, 1 is a, and negative a, plus 2b. With that, we can say that a is 1, and negative a plus 2b is also equal to 1. Using the value of a, you have negative 1 plus 2b is equal to 1. 2b is 2. b is also 1. Okay? With this, we can rewrite this linear combination as 1. 1 is equal to a is 1. 1 negative 1 plus b is also 1, 0, and 2. Again, you might want to check that. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0, so you have 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 1, 2, you have your 1. Then, let's place here the symbol for the linear transformation. 1, 1, negative 1, plus 1, 0, 2. Okay? So, continuing this process, using the transformation of the sum, you will have the sum of two transformations. Plus... 1, 0, and 2. Then, move out the constants. 1, linear transformation of 1, negative 1. And plus, you will have here 1, transformation of 0 and 2. So simply substitute the values here. We know those to be 2 and negative 3 and 0 and 8. So you have here 1, 1, 1 times 2, negative 3, plus 1 times 0 and 8. So we have 1, 1 is equal to 2, negative 3, plus 0 and 8. So the linear transformation of 1 and 1 is equal to 2 and 5. Okay? See how it happened? Again, we started with the assumption of linear combination, solving for these variables before moving to this. That same thing. Uh, happened here. So this is how you solve for the linear transformation from R2 to R2 given or the already available uh, linear transformations. Thank you very much for watching.